I'm William Blahorn from Palmer, Nebraska. Um, I have two boys that farm with me. When they graduated from school, they thought they wanted to farm. So we had to expand to take on more acres and more livestock, more everything. And we did. Well, we just grow corn and we have a cow calf operation and we feed cattle out too. We buy other cattle to put in other yards and this and that to try to energize more revenue to help support more families of the family farm because we're growing. Then we finally had to had to come up with more things for the boys to do so I came up with the trucking operation so all three of us drive truck yet too and farm and ranch and put up hay and and feed cattle and that's pretty much the sum of it but so we got induced to the real feeds by one of my good friends who told us how good it was for the cows and this and that and it really works the cows are more satisfied they have a great hair hair coat year around they're very content. They're not near as growly and grumpy as they used to be. So that's another good sign. They're just healthier cattle. They're satisfied. The manure that they produce on the grounds creates more feed for the cattle too. When it breaks down, it breaks down faster. Baby calves are healthier. They're stronger. They're more energetic. Um, we have less sickness, or by far less sickness. Um, our biggest problem with calving, and everybody has it, is, is the weather. The weather bothers us all the time, just like everybody. But we don't have near the sickness, by no means. Since we've been on the real program, our conception rate on the cows is tremendously better. Um, we're closing our window closer together on days of calving. Bulls are in just as many days, but they've, their cycles have moved up. So that's, that's a good deal. The calves are more uniform that way. On our pastures, we, use, we have more grass left over versus what we didn't have before. So I would say that they eat less and they're way more content so we can have we have more days on grass than we used to have which is actually a hay savings because we go to pasture first of May and we didn't take nothing out until October this year we had grass so we had more than five month grass season well and then your cornfields last longer too because they'll graze a lot longer about have to be moved. So from the time we were weaning till the time they go to the feedlot, we're three months ahead of schedule from care compared to what we used to be. Um, they just the cattle perform better, they grow better on less feed, so they can get to, to slaughter a lot faster. Three months is three months. It's 90 days. <laughs> you save on feed, you know. Well, yeah, it's high price, but it's like if if you can afford it or not. But I, I think you can afford it because you cannot afford not to feed it because you can get your cattle to market faster. They're healthier. You can could run more cattle on your land, or you can stay there longer before you have to move on to an, another patch. The cows are way healthier. They're way more content. They're happy. They're happy cows. Um, so we could, we, we're running more cows than we used to run on the same acres. That is a big deal because you can run more head on, on the same acres. Because I used to, on, on, on my pastures, they're not big pastures. But on my pastures, they used to run 25 head and they would have it grazed down to nothing in five months, easy. 
now I can run 30, 35 on the same pastures and they can stay there five to six months longer. I mean, another month longer, easy on any given year. And this year they got to stay two months longer and there's still grass left over. With the hay, of course we haven't had bad winter yet or not, but they eat less hay and, and still keep their body scores. And I never have sold hay before. I tell the boys we don't sell hay, but I'm starting to get a big surplus of hay around that we probably could let some go now. And a high priced hay that, like this year would be another cost savings that you can, can liquidate. That's a revenue stream. I mean, real should be around forever because it's part of the farm now. It's, it's, a good, it's a good tool for the farm. It's expensive, but it will pay for itself. In the long run, it will pay for itself. And it's good for your soil. The manure from the cattle, build your soil organic matter up. You have, that's another thing that you can get more grass from the cattle manure than you ever did before because you're building your soils back up from the manure just by what they've been eating off of the farm.